The three founders of Intel, first of all, there were Bob Noyce, Gordon Moore, and Andy Grove should probably be considered a founder, although he was not officially one. Each one played a major role in the early days and the subsequent days of the company. Now, Bob was very personable, very smooth, you know, probably a salesman at heart, although his training was in technology. Gordon, background was in chemistry, chemical engineering. He was much more sort of reserved, but a deep thinker. And Andy Grove was the hard-headed manager that would make things happen. And these three gentlemen, each with different styles, worked together so effectively to make Intel a su the success it turned out to be. And in particular, Andy, more than anything, helped to get the company organized. A few years after its founding, he installed a system he called Management by Objective. Now, engineers tend to be notorious optimists. Ask an engineer how long it's going to take him to complete a project, and he says, I'll have it done in you know, a month. The trouble is, a month later, you ask him again, and, well, it's still going to be a month. Andy would point out, that means you've made zero progress. Instead, each engineer had to predict as part of his progress report what he would accomplish in the following month. And then, as part of the progress report, compare actual progress against the predicted progress. Well, a lot of us learned very quickly what optimists we had been, and we started to generate much more realistic um, you know, projections of what would be done. I think more than anything, that helped make Intel one of the most successful companies ever created.